It's a great pleasure to introduce the chair of today's event, Bishop Vicencia Kagabe. Um, thank you, Bishop Vicencia, for being with us today. Bishop Vicencia has served as a parish priest in eight parishes in the Diocese of Johannesburg. She has been Archdeacon and uh, director of the ordination process in that diocese. But she is now, uh, as of a few months ago, the Bishop of Lesotho. It is so good to have you with us, uh, Bishop Vicencia. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rev Thomas. Thank you all. I welcome you all. I, I know that the whole communion is represented here. So on the chat, please say where you come from, because it'd be exciting to see the range of young minds and not so young minds um, that are part of uh, this process. Um, so let me take this opportunity to welcome um, our panelists uh, who will be part of the discussions um, and say more about what's happening. We have um, the uh, Reverend, um, I think Dr. Thomas Shop from uh, UK, um, England, uh, he's the project coordinator. Uh, Thomas is one of the two project coordinators. Uh, he's a priest at Southwark Cathedral in the Church of England. His PhD research was on Carl Renner's theology of death and sickness and the Holy Spirit. He's passionate about ecumenism and dialogue and supporting the next generation of theologians across the Anglican communion. So thank you, Thomas. Um, for being part of this panel uh, discussion. Then we have uh, Ryan Philip uh, Tsoboti Koloti, uh, South, uh, South African stroke uh, Lesotho citizen. Uh, he is the secretary of um, YET. Um, Ryan is um, passionate about issues of gender education and transformation. And this is seen in his role as the uh, Anglicans UN Federation coordinator in this part here in Southern Africa. His master's thesis focused on pastoral care response to clergy sexual abuse. His PhD research is on the relationship between black theology and Dinikos Maluleke's public intellectual work. He's currently uh, lecturing in New Testament and gender studies at the University of the Western Cape. Thank you, Ntate Koloti. Then we have Dr. Paolo Wetti. Uh, Paolo Wetti is one of the oversight group of YET. He's a Latin American theologian, New Testament Bible scholar, working with gender and ecclesiology. He works with Anglican Alliance and the Theological Education Department at the uh, Anglican Communion Office. He is a consultant at the Inter-Anglican Steering Commission for Unity, Faith and Order, and is passionate with working with young people. So thank you so much, Paolo, for being part of this. And another panelist that we have is Reverend Hannah Malcolm uh, from England, UK, uh, Website and Communication Officer for YET. Uh, she is an ordinant, or not yet ordained, sorry to ordain you on, online, uh, Hannah. Uh, she's an ordinant in the uh, Church of England. Her PhD research is on theology, framing of climate and ec ecological grief experience. Well, let, let me repeat this. Theological framing of climate and ecological grief experiences and her master's degree focused on Asian Christian theologies. She is on the board um, of Operation NOAA and a member of the Church of England Environmental um, Working Group. So thank you all to our panelists uh, for being part of this and agreeing to uh, share your knowledge and your excitement about this new program that we have just about to launch um, as we go on through this. So Thomas, uh, where did the project come from? About two and a half years ago, I think it was, a group of uh, us were at a meeting of young priest theologians in the Church of England. And we wanted to do something similar 
create a place where people could meet who were interested in theology, who were starting out, who were maybe uh, writing their first theology or exploring theology um, that was bigger than just priests in the Church of England. And very quickly it became for priests in the UK and then deacons as well and then lay people and then why stop at the UK? Let's include Europe and Africa and Asia and America. And very quickly, we uh, found that we had made a group of friends, group of passionate people around the Anglican communion who wanted to explore theology together um, in a, and make new theological friends who were diverse, um, who were ordained and lay, um, men and women who had uh, very, very high degrees and no university education, people in churches, people in universities. And um, we experimented with um, some short seminars to explore um, what it would be like to talk about theology. And we found that our Anglican identity, the things we cared about, were more interesting than we thought. Uh, we found that we cared about the same things, but they were not necessarily what the politics of the Anglican Communion said we should be caring about. Uh, so we were excited to see uh, if we could, uh, to explore how we could give young Anglicans a theological voice within the life of the Anglican Communion. Yeah. And, and how does that theological voice look like? At the moment, it's been a group of people, um, quite a small group, but from all over the world, um, exploring um, things like uh, environmental justice. Um, Ryan has given a short talk on Desmond Tutu and his theology, and we have been learning that actually we want to work outside our little churches. We want to explore theology together. What that voice will be, this project will discover. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thomas, for that. So Ryan, what, what do you hope to, to, to get from this? What do you hope yet will do um, for, for the communion, not just only uh, your region of Southern Africa? Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Bishop. And I think I'm very much tempted to say, just wait and see. But uh, uh, that question um, allows me really to reflect, I think, and I'm tempted to think about a method of theological inquiry, which was formulated, I think, in the 16th century by Richard Hooker, who was an Anglican um, theologian. And he developed that what we now know as the three-legged stool of really uh, the sources of our theology as Anglicans, uh, which is scripture, tradition, and reason. And obviously developing from that, John Wesley, who was equally also an Anglican priest, developed the fourth one, which is experience. And I think for me, the, 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 this project hopes to really deal with the, the multiple and different experiences of young people in relation to theology. So this idea of theology in relation to what I would call human experience is for me, or rather to a, a certain extent, what this project hopes to do by bringing together uh, um, young peoples from different sides of the globe in the different sides of communion, but bringing together those lived experiences to be in dialogue as they reflect on their own relationship with God and what that entails in relation to each other as humans. And we hope that through this project, uh, we will be able to um, make theology more accessible to young people, uh, make theology more inclusive um, to all young people across the communion. And secondly, to really encourage um, young people to uh, use this platform of uh, young Anglican theologians as a platform for young people to use their different gifts um, in, the, in their own context and actually communicating and helping to shape the identity of Anglicanism as a theology and to hopefully use that to broaden an understanding of what it means to be an Anglican and to also broaden that term of theologian, uh, which is not really restricted to an academic inquiry, but rather a reflection on your own lived experience in relation to God. And it is really, if, if, if we call them theology as faith-seeking understanding, I would say this project 
is for young people, faith seeking a better understanding in relation to each other's young people. Thank you. Yeah. So Ryan, what, what does it, a, an inclusive and accessive theology looks like? Because one doing and studying theology is expensive. Um, so how do we make it accessible for all? Yes, um, so through various, I think uh, because it is global at the moment and it's quite virtual, that's, that already is, is going to be quite tricky to make it accessible. But um, beyond that, what we're hoping to do is to really broaden this criteria of theology being simply academic journals or rather academic writing, but using other forms of expressions of theology, uh, which can be paintings or poems or, um, you know, short skits or memes, which is an expression of theology, which is not just restricted to academics. So we're hoping to use that criterion and hopefully God willing, we'll be able to get that across the communion in our various platforms. Thank you, Ryan. We'll, we'll, we'll hear more about this as we go on. Um, Paolo, this, this falls into your work at the Anglican Communion Office on the Theological Education um, Department. Um, so how does TX support this? And for people who are not used to these acronyms, uh, can you unpack for them what TX is and how this fits in into the work of the uh, uh, Theological um, Education Program of the Anglican Communion Office? Yes, thank you, uh, Bishop Vicentia and all here. So I'm Paolo. I, I work with the theologic, the department at the Anglican Communion Office called Theological Education in the Anglican Communion. So our, our role is to connect people, to support people, to challenge uh, our churches to make the theological work, theological education, theological education resources, and uh, uh, other, other materials available in different languages in, from different corners of the, of, the, of the globe, trying to lift up all the colorful voices we have in the communion, not only the English ones or those who can speak English, and, uh, and of course, the, uh, for our department, investing and uh, supporting and uh, making this project um, accessible, more available, and uh, giving the boost that it needs, it's a, it's a high priority for, for us. So formation, education is key to change the world and to challenge institutions. Uh, to challenge our leadership and uh, to make our body, our voices and our context more theologically located in order to develop different languages, to develop to diversity and to, di to, to develop to inclusion in, within our communion and uh, to be more connected to our ecumenical family um, as well. So this is mainly what our, our office is doing. And of course, we are very committed to this project and to this uh, development. So please count uh, on us uh, all the time. Right. Uh, Paula, two questions for you. One, what, what is the latest offering uh, from your office and how often is TIA grid updated? Uh, people might need to know that there's a grid in terms of all kinds of ministries that are available in our church and where to find those things. Um, so we use this opportunity for people to plug in. Yeah, so that is this grid. Uh, mainly, it, it was done many years ago. It's in English still. And uh, it needs update. And uh, it needs upgrade. Not only update, but also upgrade to make sure that, as I said before, the voices, the bodies of the communion, the context of the communion are really listened and uh, it is in, in, in there <clears throat> this is one one thing so we are working with different regions with different colleagues to make this read updated but also upgraded and more contextual more located it, it's impossible to have the grids for everybody as it is now 
So we needed to do regional and contextual inputs on that. And the, of course, the, this project can be a huge access to our to this to this work. And you can find it in the Anglican Communion uh, website uh, in the theolo in the theology uh, tab. So please go there and uh, do your criticism, do your collaboration, challenge it. This is what we really need. So we don't want to do top down things and more. So we want to hear and to work with people, not for people or on behalf of people. But this this word with is key in our methodology and in our thinking, actually. Yeah. As you talk about with, is the with part of this in Lambeth Conference? Are we going to hear young theologians' voices there? Well, this is the part I really wish it's not being recorded. But anyway, <laughs> I will be as forthcoming as I can from my, my sitting here. So it seems, and I really underline the word, it seems that the theological education is not a, quite a priority. Uh, we will have not many uh, spots or highlights in terms of theological uh, education. And of course, it is the Lambeth Conference is a meeting of bishops and spouses who by definition are not young in terms of age. Sorry, Bishop Vicentia, but by definition it's not. So maybe some, like maybe you or Bishop, Bishop Vicente from Mozambique who are quite young, but this is not the common uh, in, in, in terms of audience for Lambeth Conference. So we are, we are going to listen young theologian voices as, as if, the bishops and the spouses could be the proxy, could be the, the liaison for that. So that makes our work as, a, as theologians quite important to influence, actually, no, let, let's change this word, to inspire yeah. bishops and spouses to be more committed to theological education, but also to be more committed to listening and working with young people in this journey of doing theology, not only writing theology, but actually doing theology together in this concept of uh, togetherness. So this umoja or the ujama yep. thing. Yep. Thank you so much, Paolo. Uh, Hada, what, what it's like to be part of this global uh, initiative? Uh, how are we going to make sure that young theologians are able to get together and do theology in the most extraordinary ways uh, available to us? Thank you, and thank you everyone for being here. Um, I have been involved in this project for uh, sort of over the last year um, behind the scenes, and um, I think for me it's been probably one of the most um, spiritually sustaining and also challenging parts of the last year. Um, my context is the Church of England, and I think it can sometimes feel as though our conversations um, in my own context around the future of the church feel motivated by anxiety over our own capacity or anxiety over the differences between us, rather than being motivated by our belief in the transforming power of the spirit. And one of the things that um, has been really encouraging for me is, is meeting other young people who kind of share that conviction and that transforming power and are motivated by that rather than coming from a place of anxiety. Um, so in our conversations over the last year, I found the opposite to be true of, of that prevailing narrative of anxiety. And there's a verse in scripture um, that has come back to mind repeatedly for me as I've thought about what Young Anglican Theology as a project has given me, and it comes from Romans 15. So when Paul gives a church in Rome advice about living in peace and mutuality, he prays that the God who gives encouragement and endurance would give them a Christ-like attitude toward each other. And I've learned a huge amount about both faithful endurance and also the gift of encouragement. 
from the siblings in Christ that I've met through this network. So those two things for me have, have really come out of this, um, this lesson in faithful endurance and um, this gift of encouragement. Yeah. Wow. 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 That, that's wonderful. So I'm just going to do something that is not prepared, throwing a surprise and a spin in the works. Kadisha, what has been your experience uh, there in the Caribbean? Hello. Um, it has been a, a tremendous experience so far, um, interacting with persons from all over the globe, um, um, getting to find out about their culture, um, what their field of study um, is, and their aim towards the Young Theology Project. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I think there's Masango from uh, Zimbabwe, my neighbor. How are you there? How are you? How are you, Bishop? Thank you, you very much. Uh, great. Thank you. For, thank you for giving me this opportunity. It is really uh, uh, a joy for us to be uh, launching this. And uh, it's really encouraging and very inspiring. You see, having young people coming to discuss issues, theological issues. And I think from what we have been discussing for the past one year is trying to take theology down to the grassroots and trying to make it simple, you see, for those who are at the grassroots. We don't want to limit theology to those who are in the academia. Mm -hmm. And our approach as young people is that we have come to realize that uh, we have taken the simplest definition of, uh, of theology, which is the God's talk. Everyone talks about God. But then in talking about God, we also can appreciate, you see, what others think uh, about the relationship that we have uh, with the ultimate reality. So yes, we are very happy and we just hope that uh, this is the beginning and then the message you will go a long, uh, a, a long way in involving uh, every young person into interacting and sharing ideas. Thank you. Thank you, thank you all. You, you will see more of uh, the panel and if you go to the website uh, of YET or the Facebook page, you'll see more of um, the, the brains behind these amazing things. And I think there's a group of elders that is part of there. Uh, so the members are here. We are called the oversight team. So uh, this is where I feel a little bit grown up uh, that I'm part of the, the wisdom uh, of the elders uh, here. Thank you. Thank you so much, um, Bishop Vicentia. Um, thank you for your, your humor and your grace in um, chairing this session today. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for coming. It has been such a long journey to get here and we're now absolutely thrilled we are so excited that things are happening um before um our closing prayer and thank yous um i want to um briefly introduce what we're going to be doing in the next year so there are two things you can get involved with the first will be our program of online seminars they are free um they are a very short presentation of some theology and then uh, like today, we will get together and meet other Anglicans and argue and discuss uh, those short presentations. Details will come up on our website and they will be translated in English, Portuguese and Spanish. Um, the other thing which is very exciting is on our website, um, we will be publishing short pieces of writing, uh, pieces of art, um, pieces of uh, creative writing, pieces of uh, film, um, any anything that you consider theology um, on these themes. Why am I an Anglican? Conflict and forgiveness and women's voices. And then next year we'll be looking at art and creativity, ecology and climate, race, colonialism and the communion. And details of all that will come up on our website. Please do join our mailing list, details again on the website, and do contact Hannah. Follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook. 
Um, but but particularly, thank you so much for being with us today. Um, before the final thank yous, um, a closing prayer um, from uh, Kadisha. Thank you, Thomas. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for, bless for your blessings towards us and for a successful launch of our Anglican Theology project. We thank you for those who have partnered with us and ask that you continue to bless them as they use their various resources for the work in this world. We pray that our efforts to learn of you through sound, music, poems, theological reflections will be an inspiration to others and that they will feel the need to come on board as we birth this new life of fresh air to the Anglican theology. We pray that as we go our separate ways, that you would be with us until we meet again. We ask these things in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Thank you so much, Kadisha. Thank you also, Vicentia, for your grace and humor and joy, uh, for Paolo, Ryan, and Hannah for uh, being willing to be on the pa panel. Thank you so much uh, to TIAC and our partners, the Anglican Communion Youth Network. It's a great joy to work with you. And thank you for the core group, the oversight group, everyone who has been involved over the last two and a bit years. Um, it is amazing that we have got to this point and um, I am so excited for everything that God is going to do in this project. Um, thank you everyone for being here today. This has been absolutely marvelous. May God bless you and go with God. Bye-bye.